Ready, Lance? I am uh, as ready as I'm <laughs> well, going to be. I got a feeling about this. I got a I've never felt more uncomfortable uh, as than I'm I do going this to be. Right Shall we start about our high school experience <laughs> together? Should we start with that? Holy moly, this thing could go sideways. <laughs> Aloha and welcome to Keeping It Pono uh, podcast. Today we have a great guest, uh, but before that, I want to wish you a happy new year. Hope you're safe and doing well. We have board chair. Uh, Lance Kiave Wilhelm, class of 83. We're expecting jumps, spikes in our viewership as a result. <laughs> Mahalo for joining us. Um, and so we're going to start with just the basic question. Why, why trustee? What made you apply? Well, um, you know, I guess it's because, so I, I uh, like many people, right? My, my mom ap applied me to attend Kamehameha and um, I didn't, didn't get accepted in the fourth grade. Um, like a lot of people, you know, you either get the big packet when, <laughs> when you apply or you, or you get the small packet because, because you never get in. So I got the small packet. Um, but, um, magically in the, uh, before my fifth grade year, um, some opening, uh, came up and, and I, um, I, I was allowed to come in. I think there was only two students allowed in that, that year. And I, I remember that summer, um, uh, my auntie came in, dragged me out of summer fun drug me up to uh, campus so that I could um, sit down with Miss Lord. Do you remember Miss mm -hmm. Lord? Totally. And, uh, and read a passage. It was a little bit of a quick test, I guess. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what was happening. And magically, I got accepted into coming in the fifth grade. It was, it was like me and one other guy. And um, so I've always known that, you know, I'm just extra extraordinarily lucky to mm -hmm. have this opportunity. And and like so many other uh, Kamehameha uh, alum, uh, it changed the trajectory of my, my life. And, and so giving back uh, to Kamehameha in some way was always part of my life plan. Mm -hmm. um, and I couldn't actually think of a better way to do it. And so um, trustee uh, applying for it as unreachable, an objective as it seemed at the time, mm -hmm. um, still seems that way many days. Um, was something I was I always hoped I could do. So, awesome. I, I just it just felt like the right right thing to do. So we listed fifth grade, yeah. and then serving as trustee. Yeah. I'm sure you had ideas of what to expect when you took the job. How, how's it been similar to what you expected, or maybe even much different than yeah. what you expected? You know, in in some ways. Um, in some ways, it's it's more mundane than you think, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I think. Some 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 people think you know everything we do is grandiose. Everything we do is um, extraordinarily meaningful and very impactful. Um, and some of it is, but some of it is pretty mundane. Mm -hmm. You know, we we function as the governance authority for the organization, and so we do things like oversee um, compensation strategy, and we oversee sh strategic direction, and um, we approve transactions, and so some of it's very rudimentary. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but then other things are are very impactful and very important, like the long term direction of the organization, where we want to go, who do we want to be when we grow up, those mm -hmm. kinds of big questions. Um, but you know, I've been I've been blessed. You know, I I um I I've loved all of it. I mean, I've loved every single moment of it i i come into our boardroom here and i still can't really believe that i'm mm -hmm. allowed to do it um i keep thinking one day someone's going to come and say now nah, just joking <laughs> like you you know really belong um but it's been it's been um just the, one of the greatest blessings of, mm -hmm. of my life i still love every moment even the hard stuff mm -hmm. you know even even the hard stuff i think um if if I wasn't here doing it, I'm not sure what I'd be doing, but I, I, I know it means a lot to me personally. Hmm. So talking about that, uh, if if you could just kind of touch on a couple of the big wins that you feel like you folks were able to accomplish, mm -hmm. and then maybe after that, some of the challenges that are still there. You know, I, I think some of the things that I, I get really excited about for our organization is the 
the path that we have started going down with our first five year strategic mm-hmm. plan, are going to our second. And those kinds of things are really about who we want to be as an organization. So what constitutes success mm-hmm. for us, which is a big part of what our job is, working on that. And it's not, a, it's not the kind of thing you answer and then you walk away from, right? Mm-hmm. So we, we say, this is what, who we want to be when we grow up. This is what we want to do. This is the kind of impact we want to make for our people. You say those things, you try to be as specific as you can. You, you try to be careful and thoughtful about that. Um, but then you don't just leave that and then walk away. You know, mm-hmm. we, so we spend a lot of time looking at that year after year, month after month. Is that still correct mm-hmm. for our time? Is that still right for our people? Um, and how do we tweak on that? How do we make that a little bit better, more meaningful, more impactful? Because times change, right? Mm-hmm. So this is a flu- you know, we live in a fluid time. So you, you have to have that. So it's I'm I'm proud of what we've done, knowing that we have a lot of work left mm-hmm. to do. You know, we've had um, challenges though in this organization uh, while I've I've been here. Um, uh, tough things like um, addressing some of the Dr. Brown issues Mm -hmm. um, and uh, addressing uh, alumni members, members of our Ohana that were hurt Mm -hmm. um, during these periods of time and and the best way to address those hurts and how to try to make that as Pono as we can be. Mm -hmm. Um, And those are tough. This is really, really tough. You know, they they don't, uh, there's no manual for that. Mm -hmm. There's no correct answer really. uh, and and you know we have a a board uh, of of five trustees who are extraordinarily passionate about this place, love this place with a deep mm-hmm. deep love and affection for this place. But that doesn't mean we agree mm-hmm. on everything. It doesn't mean that we agree on what the right outcome is because we all bring different parts. Uh, we bring ourselves and we have different perspectives on that. Um, and in those moments. Um, we have passionate debates about certain things. Um, knock down, drag out, crying, uh, yelling, mm-hmm. some, sometimes, you know, um, pointed conversations. Um, and I, I attribute all of that to a passion and love for this place. You know, I, I'm, I'm, we're, we're lucky, you know, I'll be honest. As an alum, I'm su- I feel we're super lucky. We have a really great board of trustees yeah, myself excluded maybe but the other guys are <laughs> they're great guys because they and and women with crystal um because they love this place right and they lead with that they lead with that and so whenever we even when we disagree we we know that we're coming at it from a place of love and affection for this place and um and so it's good it's, it's possible to disagree and passionately disagree and yet walk out of the room and feel good about each other and what we're doing that's awesome insight. Um, I want to move <clears throat> uh, in on January 25th is Charles mm-hmm. Reed Bishop's birthday, and we want to celebrate him accordingly. But what many people may know is that Kelly Pawahi gave her entire trust to start mm-hmm. our school. What they may not know is that Charles Reed Bishop and some of his funding actually helped to get the schools erected. Mm-hmm. And so you play I'm sure on both roles as a trustee and many other trusteeships you you hold. um, How are those two, uh, and I'm talking about Charles Reed Bishop Trust and KS Trust, how are they similar or different? Well, one's big, one's not so big, right? (laughs) So we can can start with that. You you know, um, I think when uh, Powahi in her wisdom left her estate uh, to form Kamehameha, most of those assets were in land mm-hmm. um, and not so many assets in, in a fungible asset like cash. Mm-hmm. And so it's, it was uh, really left to Charles Reed Bishop and the other trustees to figure out how to build a school um, when you're land rich and cash poor. And that has actually been the condition of the trust for, for a long period of its existence. Uh, Powahi was blessed with a, a lot of land, mm. uh, but you know you don't you, you don't buy um, you know plywood with land. You buy it <laughs> with money. So 
it was Charles Reed Bishop in his um, wisdom and his generosity that uh, provided some of the, the real assets, the cash assets that made building the school possible. He did that, funded that some from his own estate and, and some by leveraging some real estate. Um, but he, he really was of the opinion uh, that, and it's an opinion we continue to hold today, that the, the land assets are, are are extraordinarily valuable and therefore should not be easily um, monetized in, into uh, through a sale, right? So he leveraged his own um, assets so that the land could be kept. Um, oh, and it, was, it was very wise of him to do that. And now, so he ca he had his own estate and he kept his own and created his own endowment and he passed after Powahi. And so mm -hmm. his, his will um, makes some very specific um, requests for annual contributions contributions to other organizations, not just Kamehameha, mm. but those contributions are relatively small. Mm. Um, you know, a few hundred dollars here and a few hundred dollars there to very specific organizations. Some of those, um, he funded other schools. Some of those schools no longer exist. Mm. Some of those schools have transitioned from one name to another name as, as things happen over time. Um, but it, he made specific dollar requests, uh, bequests, uh, for those institutions. So we, we follow suit with that and we, we make those relatively small bequests um, every year to those institutions. He left um, uh, the majority of his estate that he, he didn't use while he was alive to build Kamehameha. He left the majority to the Bishop Museum um, as a way to fund it, build it, and then operate it. So that still is one of our larger uh, annual uh, grants is to Bishop Is it the same leadership on both boards? <clears throat> right. So in his his will um, specifically says that the trustees of um, Bernice Pohe Bishop's Trust shall be the same mm. trustees for the Charles Reed Bishop Trust. So right. we follow um, his will there. And are there any additional funds being added or do you just use the endowment to do the work that you do? Uh, we in, invest uh, the corpus mm -hmm. of that um, uh, endowment. It, it's, a, it's a smaller dollar value. So we don't. Uh, what that means is that we don't have all the flexibility mm -hmm. in the way that we manage that portfolio that we might on the um, Kamehameha uh, portfolio. Right. So we, we invest it. Um, we try to invest it prudently and we try to invest it in such a way as to um, maintain the corpus and then generate enough income to make meaningful uh, contributions, particularly to um, Bishop Museum and then also to Mauna Ala's maintenance. Yeah. Just so good for our alumni to know uh, a little bit about Charles Reed Bishop's Trust. I've learned a lot. Um, what about COVID? Now, how does COVID impact um, the delivery of, on the mission of each trust? Um, I would imagine um, it does, but I'm just curious, how, at what level does COVID impact? Or do we continue to just uh, cruise along with uh, things status quo? Yeah, you know, I, there's no part of our community wasn't impacted by mm. COVID. You know, we uh, operate educational institutions and all of our, all of our operations were affected. All, all of our operations were affected. I think back to those early days of nationwide shutdowns mm -hmm. and our uh, endowment on the Kamehameha school side um, lost significant dollars as the stock market mm -hmm. ran down, you know, and um, billions of dollars. And if um, you want to uh, lose sleep, you know, try losing <laughs> billion dollars overnight. That's, that'll give you, a, give you a hard time. So, you know, but, so we, we, we managed through that and we have really brilliant people on the financial mm -hmm. assets division. Um, on the commercial real estate division that helped to manage the asset side of our operation. Uh, we try to pay attention to the operation side. So how do we deliver education? Mm -hmm. How do we do that in a safe and effective way? Um, but I think the job of trustee is to take a look at those things, be concerned about it, try to make sure we have good protocols, good systems and procedures in place. But um, really our job is to take that situation and then look forward beyond that, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the things we ask ourselves a lot right now is what are we learning through this that we can lever into better operations in the future? So in what way are we learning about virtual, the dissemination of education through virtual platforms, distance learning, et cetera? 
What are we learning about that that could someday in the future allow us to reach more kids at a distance mm -hmm. through uh, ki you know, children who can't come to our campuses? Are we learning things that could help us deliver more and better impact in the long run? Mm -hmm. And how, how, how do we not uh, miss that opportunity because we just stay so focused on just staying alive, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we're blessed because we have a, a, a great endowment with a lot of wonderful people. Leadership's responsibility is to look beyond that and try to try to see out five years, 10 years, 25 years, 100 years. Mm. And what are we learning today that can make us better tomorrow? <clears throat> Speaking to that, I guess from your perspective as the board chair, what, what are your future hopes and goals for Kamehameha School? Oh, boy, that's hard. You know, we, I think we, we, we personally, I don't really think that much about, you know, legacy like in, in that way. Um, I think all of our jobs here, you're, you're given a gift when you're a trustee. You come in here and, and you have this wonderful institution, amazing mission and tremendous assets, people and places and things and, and a culture and a history. And, and you, you get that. Somebody gives that to you, right? And you, you get handed this thing. And it's a, it's a beautiful, amazing, fragile thing. And, and then you got to carry this thing for a few years. And your hope, at least mine, was that when, when it's my turn to hand it to the next person, that it is at least as good mm -hmm. and hopefully <coughs> a little bit better, just a little bit better than it was when I got it. And... Um, and so we do that in a lot of ways. We, we do that in trying to make sure that the people that we employ here get as much training and development that they can so they can be better. Mm -hmm. So they can be better in the future than they are today. Uh, we do that to create systems and procedures and policies that will sustain the organization in the future so it can be better. We try to invest our, our assets so it's growing and it's mm -hmm. better. Um, we try to lever technology these days. So we have more technology, like super fancy iPhones that take fancy <laughs> videos, um, um, using you know platforms like podcasts to communicate. So we do all of these things so that it's a little bit better um, than when we when we found it. Um, that's really at the end of the day all all we hope for, all I hope for, you know. And um, you know, I won't be the judge of that. You know, guys like you will be, our, our <laughs> alumni will be, um, time will be uh, the judge for that. But, you know, I think that's what we try to do. Awesome. Yeah, and we are grateful and tremendous kuleana, so mahalo for taking that on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we yeah, are grateful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else to share with our viewers? Uh, well, I'd like to talk about your volleyball oh, career. Well, but, um, that's about it. <laughs> Oh, we are running out well, of time. Well, I mean, so it's like, I mean, you you know this too, right? So we go up to that campus with your kids and you have to run it around. You don't always appreciate um, all the effort that goes into it, right? And, and, and now that we get to see it and you get to see it, I get to see it, um, it you just cannot um, help but feel um, awe I mean, and wonder and uh, I think the moment you no longer look at what we do with awe is probably time to go. Mm -hmm. It's probably time, time to go. But I'm, I'm, you know, I think we're all super lucky because this is what Pohi did for us and for our community is magical. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's really quite, quite magical. So I continue to uh, look forward to great things and, um, one day in the not too distant future, I'm just gonna be alum, right? Like you're like oh, yeah. normal alum. I'm gonna be asking you how come I can't get <laughs> Luau tickets. Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna be saying where well, how, how how come I cannot, you know, get attendance to the events like I like I like go to. Um but I I uh, I hope you're still here. Yeah. Right. And, and I hope our, our alumni stay with us because they're a big part of, of what we do. I, I'm hopeful that you, your work here is uh, part of it is to help give our alumni more uh, opportunities, more mm -hmm. vehicles, more, more tools, more ways to connect, mm -hmm. um, to stay close with us and help us. Right? So we're all in this together. Oh, yeah. you, know, um, you know, this is everybody working together 
and uh, if we if we can get their help um, in a lot of different ways, right, mm-hmm. and lever that, if we can get that, then we can reach more and do more and help our people be where they should be. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, actually. Awesome. Awesome. Mahalo, board chair. Well, I learned a lot. And for some of you, this may be the first time you had a chance to listen to our board chair. And I'm sure you enjoyed it and learned a lot from it. I want to thank you for joining us on Keeping It Pono. I want to thank our board chair for, for being with us and not going down the volleyball <laughs> route. Uh, <laughs> we also want to uh, tee up. We have uh, Monty McCumber and Jonah Solatorio joining us on the next podcast. So you can look forward to that. Until then, Happy New Year. Take good care and aloha. Aloha.